Hi, my name is Hoochie and I'm an IT specialist from Nagios. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to monitor a website using Nagios XI. Monitoring a website is important because it can help ensure that your website is secure, always available, and performing well. It will minimize the impact of website outages, performance problems, and assist in protecting your website from security threats. Before you start, you'll need to have XI installed and configured. You'll also need to know the URL of the website that you want to monitor. To start monitoring a website, hover over Configure at the top menu bar and select Configuration Wizards. Then type in Website in the search bar and select the Website Wizard. Make sure it's the Website Wizard and not the Website URL Wizard because these are two different things. In the Website URL field, enter the URL of the website you want to monitor. I'll use google.com with the HTTPS scheme for my example. On this page, you can change the host name and IP address if you'd like. You can also use SSL, change the port number, adjust what the status information says when a page redirects, and use credentials if necessary. When choosing an option for on redirect, make sure to choose the one that best fits your website monitoring needs. The OK, Warning, and Critical options are useful if you want to be notified when a page is redirected to another page. For example, you might want to use the warning option if you are monitoring a page that should never be redirected. Here are all of the services that can be enabled or disabled according to your monitoring needs. HTTP, ping, DNS resolution, DNS IP match, web page content, web page regular expression match, and SSL certificate check. If you want Nagios to check for specific content on a website, you can enter that content in the content string to expect field under the web page content service. For example, you could enter the text music and XI will look for that string on the web page. If you want to use the SSL certificate service to monitor the expiration of a website's SSL certificate, then make sure the URL provided in step one begins with HTTPS. Once you're happy with how everything was configured, we can move on to the final steps. This is where you can adjust the check interval. Enter the check interval at which you'd like XI to check the website. The default interval is five minutes. Hit next if you'd like to adjust notifications, group settings, and define a parent-child host relationship. Otherwise, if you're happy as is, click finish. XI will create a new host with services for your website. And that's it. You've now learned how to monitor a website using Nagios XI. If you have any questions or need help, visit us at support.nagios.com. Make sure you check out our YouTube channel for more helpful content. Thanks for watching.